Hi, this tutorial is to show you how to use your China Hoops app. And here is the barcode where you can fly your app. Or sometimes if you would like to share your China app with your friends, you may find your China app barcode here. So please go to your website hoops.net.cn and find the Chinese page contact us. So if you scroll down, you will find there are two barcodes here. So the first one is China Hoops WeChat. And this is the separate account open for you for China Hoops. And this WeChat is specifically for your business purpose. So right now, this WeChat is opened on my China mobile phone. I use another separate iPhone uh, for this account. And the second one is China Hoops app. So if you would like to use your uh, WeChat, I mean that you have to install WeChat on your mobile phone and then use open your WeChat and scan, use your scan feature so that you would like going to China Hoops app. So let me show you the back end of the China Hoops app. And this is the back end of the China Hoops app. Um, actually, you are able to log in the app on the computer if you input the domain mp.weixin.qq.com by using your username and password. Uh, there is one feature that is different from the other social medias like Facebook and YouTube is different is WeChat you have to use your uh, WeChat account I mean that I just uh, make explanation to you. you you have to use the China Hoops WeChat to log in because this is the uh, the password I mean that the password is different from while you log in Facebook or, or YouTube. But in China, if you would like to log in the WeChat, you have to use the WeChat account. And this one is registered account for you to log in to your backend. So okay, uh, okay, so let me show you the backend of your China app. And this one has several features. So here you can see the navigation bar. If you click the navigation bar, and this one is going to automatically connect with your website. But if you would like to see how it reads on your mobile phone, you may scan your China app. And then at the bottom of your app, you can see the navigation bar here. And this is the home. And this one is basketball shop. And this is your store where you can uh, where you can present your shop to your potential customers or if someday some cops some some people log in and they can place their order online here so this is the store and this feature is contactless uh, I'm sorry for the WeChat uh, all the language is in Chinese uh, but anyway I hope that this tutorial can be clear enough for you to understand the WeChat app I use I use it here. Okay, so this is the outlook of your China app when you scan your China app and then you can go to the different functions of your applications. So let me quit this app and this is the layout the back end of your China app. So the Chinese app you can see that this is uh, created by under the company Weixin.com. Uh, Weixin is Chinese we call it WeChat. Okay so there are several functions here uh, so and, and that's my job I help you every day uh, to create and post some um, some information about your products or about your 
uh, videos or any games documentaries here so that's the place I created I created poster here so each time if you are, if you have information um, or you have news or post to uh, to be published to Chinese uh, WeChat audience so that's the place I created the poster here so I will not show you how to make the post but anyway you can see uh, this function this area is for the contents creation and this is the for the private uh, emails I mean that when customers when when the WeChat users want to leave a message so they can send me emails here and I can receive the message and made an answer at the back end. And this one is the user management. So right now, if you scan the Chinese ad on WeChat, and you are going to be listed here. So this is the list of the users. So when I publish the new post uh, to, to all of the users, and then they are going to be showing at the back end of the users. So that's the user management. And this function is for auto reply. When somebody leave a message, there is a reply here. So I can answer to the customers by either text, and I can also answer by both photos and text message. And it also supports the audio and the video and this app can be combined together with uh, with, uh, with a WeChat account here. So this is the function um, for me to make a reply and receive the read the message and answer the inquiries here. So for this area, this is the analytics, which means how to analyze the content, how many people read the post and share the post or transfer and share to the other peoples. So that's the statistics at the back end of the WeChat of your China app. And this one is the user analytics. Uh, from the back end, I can see that how many users view or how long time they, they take a look and how they use our app and what is the interest to post here. So that's the analytics function. So it's, it's, it's here. Um, and this one, this part is for the ads. I mean that sometimes when a company have budgets to, uh, to promote some products or they would like to buy for the volume and then they can pay ads here. But this is the optional. It doesn't mean that you have to buy the ads. Well, and this one is for the WeChat Pay. I mean that in the future, when your store is ready to go, or when you want to sell more, and you can use this function. And this is the WeChat Pay. And this WeChat Pay can be connected, combined with your commercial business account. So that when you receive the payment, you are able to transfer the payment sometime later to your commercial account. So this is in China, we call it WeChat Pay. And this one is more useful to, uh, to the developer. So this is the feature and a part of the functions for the developer to use uh, how to build the China app. So here, so I will not take some time to explain more. This, so this is part of my work to do. Okay, anyway, uh, your China app is ready to go. And I've already connect your China app with, with your company profile and contact information and the navigation. So nearly all the contents, especially for the blogs, a later part, I'm going to take time to to share your Chinese post and the videos uh, to your China app. 
so that someday if you would like to share part of your games or documentaries you can you can send your China app to your friends um, so that it's going to be easier for your Chinese audience.